arrival, it's clear to see that there's been a serious accident on an icy road. A car is buried in a bush. The driver is unharmed, but the crash victim, Chaz, while standing, is clearly badly injured and in shock. Hiya, guys. Two rapid response medics have already arrived, but team leader Jen takes charge as the senior paramedic. What have we got then, Eric? This gentleman has been struck from about 260 or seven miles an hour just over here. Uh, um, here. Has he crossed in the road? Yeah. Just walking down the car, though. It was on the pavement, yeah, cars mounted. Cars right, OK. Um, the lost consciousness has hit the bonnet, it's gone over the top. Yeah. An ambulance has raced to the site of the crash to give Chaz urgent medical care. Okay, just relax, with us, just trust us. Everyone so ready? Yeah, okay. Ready, set, move. I see, just relax, just relax. November Tango 198, sit rep from the scene of the RTC. Type of incident is car versus pedestrian. Hazards present are ice on the roads. Number of casualties is one. Driver is uninjured. Roads policing have just arrived. We don't need any other resources at this stage. Many thanks, Eva. Jazz has had the full impact of one tonne of metal slamming into him. His body is going into shock and he's shaking uncontrollably. It's also brutally cold, and Chaz is at risk of hypothermia. Another blanket to keep you warm. Jen wants to get Chaz quickly inside the ambulance. It's a nice deep breath for me. Any pain now at all? So just to recap, no medical condition that we're aware of. The ambulance team get to work assessing Chaz's injuries. Jen's concerned about the damage to his head and wants to test his responses. How are you doing down there? We've got the heating going. You'll get a little bit toasty in a minute. I suppose you saw this coming, did you? Are you on your way to work? Where do you work? Just around the corner from here. What's the company called? It's got some confused conversation Don't worry, it'll come back to you. But it is worrying for Jen. It could mean that Chaz is suffering from an internal bleed on the brain. The ambulance team rushed him to A&E for further investigation. Hey, guys. Chaz's mum and sister are at his bedside when Jen arrives. Hiya. So you had a CT scan, is that right? Yes. And the results of that? Uh, CT scan was OK. Uh, saw a hip, head there, obviously. What do you remember? Not a lot. Just walking to work, then waking up in the ambulance. That's probably a good thing you don't remember it. Yeah. You were here like quite some speed. <laughs> I always feel for the family members in situations like this to be told by the ambulance service your loved one has been involved in a high-speed traffic collision must be the most devastating news to hear. How are you feeling, Mum? OK, now, well, it was a long drive from Northampton to Milton Keynes. I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. absolutely. All sorts going through my head. But... Oh, it's good well, to we've see still you got him up. here. <laughs> You're very lucky. Very I, lucky. I imagine broken bones and internal injuries, and I hope it will be a lesson to a lot of people to learn that you can't always see the ice on the road and they need to slow down. Well, I hope you have a speedy recovery, Chaz. Yes, right. <laughs> The best part about my job is finding out a patient that I've responded to has survived. It could have been so, so much worse, and it is reassuring and very rewarding to hear that he's gone on to make a full recovery. It really could have been fatal, but we are just so lucky. Somebody's watching over him. <laughs> <laughs>